In this video tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate on how to edit and modify the traces di display settings so that you can create and save it to suit different user preferences. As you can see here, most of the traces are out of its shape and you need to optimize it by adjusting its sensitivity, filters and other related settings. But first thing first, I would like to walk through you on the calibration of the screen. Go to Edit, select Calibrate. In this window, it allows you to select a monitor which matches the system monitor. This is an important task to be done so that the software will display the signal traces properly, depending if you have a laptop or a very large screen. But in my case, I'm using 15.4 inch laptop. So I'm gonna select this. And selecting the custom option will allow you to type in alternate dimensions in the boxes right here. After being key in, select apply and click OK. And next, you need to change the time base to 30 seconds. To do that, simply click on the drop down list here and select 30 seconds per page. And then next, you realize that the watermark at the background is on the left side. And what you need to do is to align it and to make sure it is at the center. To do that, simply hold the Shift, Control and E button to align it and after that you will see your watermark at the center of the epoch next let's adjust the sensitivity or the gain for the channels to do that simply select the channel and then press arrow up or down key to adjust the gain you can even select multiple channels simply press control and then select the desired channel but in this case i'm going to adjust the eog channels and then you press up or down arrow key to adjust it likewise for eeg group simply press control and select all the eeg channels and then after that press arrow up or down key to adjust the gain. Let me quickly adjust the, the rest of the channel. Okay, and then next, you can also rearrange the channel by dragging the trace. For example, I'm going to replace abdomen at the top and chest at the bottom. And next, what you want to adjust is the notch filters or the filters for each channel's group. To do that, you can utilize the toolbar at the top here. Okay, you can select the channel type from the drop down list. And in this case, I'm going to start with the EEG types. And the EEG actually applicable to both EOG and EEG channels. And here you have your low frequency filters. And in this case, I'm going to select uh, 0 0.3 Hertz. Okay, as recommended by the ASM. And then for the high frequency filters, I'm going to select 35 Hertz. And then whether or not you want to apply notch filter is depending on your country requirements. Otherwise, you can turn it off where necessary. And as you notice, after you apply these filter settings, there's some changes on the channel types. Okay, I'm going to do uh, the same for the EMG 
okay in this case I'm going to change it to uh, 10 but if it's not available here there's another way for you to do so you can type directly into the low frequency filter box here okay 10 and then high frequency filter I'm going to put 100 as recommended here I'm going to turn it off and then it will apply on the channel type and now you can still readjust the sensitivity after applying the filters settings And next, I'm going to show you on how to create a split screen or two views in Sleepworks software. And how you can make use of this feature. A very good example is that when you do a manual scoring, you can change the montage. So to do it again, go to this toolbar. Okay, which is also called workspace toolbar click on it and then select two views and when I have these two separate views you can use different sets for better viewing for example I'm gonna change the upper screen to only EEG channels for staging purpose. To change it, you can select from here or simply hold control and select one, two or three. But since I have set it to two, these other channels will be appear and for the bottom screen I'm gonna use only respiratory channel but in this case I already configure it into set number three so to make it appear again select the toolbar here and select number three after that, you can change the respiratory channel to different time base. In this case, I'm going to change it to 2 minutes per page. And for the upper screen, I'm going to remain at 30 seconds per page. That way, I can score or stage the study by looking at the top screen and perform event marking on the respiratory events at the bottom with two minutes per page another thing worth mentioning is that when you have two views you will notice there are two red vertical lines on each screen so these lines are actually correspond to each other because now we have two minutes page per page at the bottom screen and 30 seconds at the top and this red vertical line will actually tell you where the point we are looking at which is corresponding to each other And next, I'm going to show you how to create and save workspaces. Workspaces allow multiple end users to have the software remember or record individual preferences regarding certain user interface elements of the application, which include the things that we had just configured earlier. So I'm going to uh, give you another example is that if let's say I would like to have my own workspace um, Okay, let me first change back to one one view and let me bring up all the channels 
and then uh, maybe I would like to have a video clip on top of the screen and I'm gonna um, bring up another toolbar which is called head up display okay, I'm gonna put it right here right so um, let's say this is how I want to view the montage and I would like to save it as my own workspace okay let me just add another thing here montage sidebar okay I just added a, a sidebar yeah, on the left and now I would like to save it as a works as my own workspace okay so I'll just go to the workspace toolbar and then I click save as and then I'm going to name it to workspace test one okay and then click OK so after that you can uh, for example in any case you um, change something here okay maybe by your um, colleagues or any other users they might want to view it a different way um, for example they change something here um, okay for example they mess up the whole workspace so you can always go back to workspace and then select workspace test 01 and then it will bring back everything you have just configured earlier okay sometimes you may see some inverted traces like here we have an ECG which is in inverted pattern to change it back select the channel right click and select invert trace and next I'm going to demonstrate on how to organize sets. Channel sets is a simple way to browse through different groups of channels belonging to the same montage. Example, a full PSG montage where set 1 can be all of them, set 2 can be only the EEG channels for staging purposes, and set 3 can be respiratory for scoring respiratory events channels can be organized into 16 sets in total that can be viewed separately on screen to do that go to edit settings under the montage tab go to set column as you can see i've already configured configured the channels to explain that, I have configured the EEG channels and also EMG chin to be used as scoring channels and I name it as set number 2. Meaning to say, these channels will be appear on set 1 and 2, whereas the rest I set it to set 1 and 3. If I use set 1, all the channels you can see here will be appear on the montage. If I use set 2, I will only see these 11 channels. To configure the set, select the desired channel and then right click on the set cell you can directly select from the list from 1 up to 16 but mind that if you choose from the screen here you are only assigning it to one of the set only but if you look at here I actually assign this channel to set number one and two so how to do that again right click 
you have to select multiple and then you will have a list for set one to number 16 with the check boxes beside it so if let's say you want to assign more than one set simply check on this number to assign it to multiple sets But here I'm going to make it appear on set 1, 2, maybe I'll put it at 4 for channel F3. After that, click OK.